Hello there. In this short YouTube video, I am going to show you how you can create a Java executable file and how you can run it in the terminal. So for starters, let us create a new Java project by clicking on new in IntelliJ by the way. And then the SDK is fine. Then we press on next and then next again. Then we give the project a new name, for instance, demo. Then we press finish. Oh, it already exists. So, demonstration. Then press on finish. And then voila, we have a blank project. Good morning. Okay, so afterwards, we go over to the source file, source folder. Right click and press new. And then we give the job, we create a new Java class, which we will call um, Stringy. And you press enter. So keep in mind, in Java, the class name should be exactly the same as the Java file. Okay. So afterwards, we go inside the curly braces, and then we type main to create our main function, and then press tab. And then afterwards, now we are going to create a very simple program which will accept the name of a user and then it will output the name of the user as well. So in order to do that, we first have to notify the user that we need their name. So just by typing SOUT in IntelliJ and then pressing tab, you have system.out on print line. And then we press tab and then we say, please enter the user please enter the name or please enter your name and then afterwards now we need to accept the name so in order to accept the name we will need to make use of the scanner class so what we do is that we type scanner then we give it uh, the scanner name the scanner variable a name so we can say kb scanner kb is equal to new scanner system.n then we press enter as you can see we didn't import the scanner library yet so we just you can just hover over scanner and then you press alt enter which will import it for you automatically then afterwards now that we have our scanner set up let's create a variable which will store the name from the scanner so let's say string name equals to kb dot next line this will now take the input from the user and then store it in the variable called name, which is of type string. Then we put a semicolon. Then afterwards, we output the name, which was entered by the user. So your name is space. And then we say plus name, which stores the name variable, of course. So now let us run this project to see if it actually works just a little bit okay excellent now we can see that in the terminal the project is asking us to enter the name so in this case we say Peter and then it will give you a successful output that hey your name is Peter congratulations this is just the first part now we go off to the famous creating a jar file so in order to create a jar file, go over to name, to the file, sorry, to the file tab and select project structure. Afterwards, you will see project structure, project modules, libraries, facets, click on artifacts. And then you go over here and then you press the plus sign or the add sign. And then you say add jar from modules with dependencies we click enter and then we know that the name of our main class is stringy so we just enter that over there and then we keep the rest of these exactly as they are then we press ok afterwards you'll see now that the jar file would finally be output in the demo in the output artifacts demonstration but I just want it to be output in 
the out directory straightforward. So that's all I'm going to change. Then I'm going to press apply and then say okay. Okay, cool. But you can still see that we only have the production code or the built Java code, but we do not have the jar file yet. So in order to get the jar file, we hover over to build and then select build artifacts. Then you'll get this dialog box thingy and then you say build action build. Ta da! And then as you can see, we now have our them our file our java class file converted to a jar file so the next thing which we need to do now is to actually open this jar file in the terminal so first we need to copy the path reference let's copy the full absolute path and then just for demonstration sake i'm going to open up command prompt hello cmd and then in command prompt the command now to open the java file is java dash jar and then you paste the complete file path or in command prompt you just right click and then it will paste the path for you and then boom as you can see the program is now busy running in the terminal and this is the compiled um java program so you can just say please enter your name so susan and then there we go susan is output into the terminal so the reason why we compile the 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 source code into the in this case into the java jar file is because the source code as you can see say for instance if we're creating something like a, a nuclear missile launcher type of program we wouldn't want that code to be exposed to the public but then we'd want to give it to the military so that they could use it so then the java jar file is the binary file which actually hides the implementation of the source code but then will allow the program to run on the target or the machine code so that is all for today thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe